guys, this is Susan here, and in this video, I just want to give you a basic demonstration using only two designer template sets, so one border set and one accessory set, and I'm just going to create at least three, we'll see, maybe more, um, different layouts so that you can see that just with a couple few sets, you can create a variety of different layout designs, and then of course, depending on how much paper stash you have, um, you'll change that paper and then of course the look changes as well as you finish your layouts. Okay, so to get started with, I am going to just start by playing with a border. And again, I'm just gonna stick to these two sets, which kind of makes it simple. I'm gonna move it over here and we'll do a very basic one to begin with. How about that? Simply put on a couple different designer templates depending on what you're working through. I actually think this sunflower is adorable. Probably I'd do something like that. You can also even tuck these. See how that's kind of cute poking out like that? Just to give you a little more texture layer there. I think that's kind of fun how that could poke out around that butterfly. All right. So I'd probably do something like that and maybe more of a basic thing over here. Um, and then at this point, it's all a matter of photos. So for the sake of finishing the layout, I'm going to just throw in a couple photos so that we can at least create from start to finish as far as the design process goes, the creative process, um, one layout. And I'm going to turn this one a little bit and maybe even add an arrow. That could be fun. Even another little photo up here maybe to highlight that. Hmm. Well, something like that. <laughs> we'll go simple. I said simple the first layout. We're going to go simple. And there we go. One layout using only the two sets. And let's uh, now reset and start again. <laughs> This time I'm going to grab a couple more borders from the Madison Avenue and let's, let's see if we want to do more of a layered look. So we could do something like that or of course you could do a top bottom design. So again, I'm just going to just play for a moment. I think and also a back to back. I always love back to back because you're going to trace and cut those out of different patterns and colors and it's just so much fun. Let's go with that. Let's go with a back to back for our second layout design. Okay, so there we go. Now, as far as this layout goes, a fun thing with nature specifically is if you take the three number three and then number six it actually creates like a tree so we could do something like that and again throw a couple photos in just to kind of give us that finished accomplished look here thinking maybe a five by four maybe flip those a little bit Personally, I'm in favor of a layout that can encompass as many pictures as you need. So if you're looking for a space to add a couple more pictures, you can always add them to the, your borders as well. And then of course we can do some kind of fun sunflower over here, or maybe we just keep it more nature focused and we do you know, a couple leaves or something. That'll be a fun touch of color and simplicity over there too. Now, if you're looking to, of course, layer it up or have a lot of fun, that's when you could throw in some fun borders or tiny accessories. And um, of course, they're always fun as well to throw into the mix. Okay, so there is layout number two. For the third layout, again, we're gonna reset our page. Ends. Let's go ahead and grab the one we haven't used yet, which is this border, 1B, and 
1A and they line up so you can grab, put them across your page and have this more straight look. And then at this point, if you wanted to maybe create a flower, that's one of the things I love about this Madison is this deep spot that it has right there. I love adding this little flower and the leaf together from the nature. That's a lot of fun. And then at that point, you can simply um, I don't know, do like, maybe we'll do photos across the front top here. So adding a couple photos, you could do, you know, all the same size or you can change it up. So maybe you'll put some three by fours in there, some four by fours mixed in with that. And I'd probably even bring this down just a little and have something like that. I think it's even fun when you're, depending on what picture you're using, but you can just crop that uh, down because that's where your two pages meet and still have it keep going across your page. So that could be really fun. Or you could, of course, do something like that. And I'd probably add like a little strip or a journaling or something like that right there. But if we did it across the top, right? And well, you could even really do another border down there at the bottom. Again, each side has one of them that it will line up. Hmm. If you're going for more of a busier look, which I think the photos are still very highlighted and augmented in here. So I think it's still really cute. Probably I would put some kind of an embellishment over here, maybe a butterfly. I would maybe put it here, but I think your eye goes too leveled. So part of me thinks maybe down here. And if you have like a title, you could point to the title. Again, a good spot right here. If your paper's not too busy that you cut your border out of, it'd be a great place for a title. And if you were, you would just slice that after you cut it out of paper. Okay, that could be kind of fun. <laughs> that could be kind of fun. So just play to create until you come up with a few designs that you like. And then at that point, um, the same steps, trace, cut, ink replace. And I'd probably do something very similar. So right there we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe even what I would do is I would do one over here, mix those up, and a smaller one over here. So something like that, right? So there is layout number three. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to let us know and just keep playing, creating, and connecting.